Right. Eee. I just like to have all the books. In my journal. I don't always use them, but. I'll have a crap. Now, let's see, we've got some guys down there. Got way up there. And I know what that's for, that's the back entrance. And it takes you to Granny's Shrine. Hmm. This area is under lockdown. Any unauthorized individuals are to be considered suspicious and confronted immediately with the Now there should be a watch officer in there. Should be one in there as well. <laughs> there we go, and there should be one that comes up the stairs every so often. There he is. I like to time this so he can up the stairs and I can stab this guy if the other guy see him. I might also wait for him to walk away from the windy so I can stab him. It can be vexing if you're trying to go without being seen. I like dislike encounters that take you five years to get through. Because people just keep appearing because they keep a certain off alarm, blah blah blah, and you end up using a lot of stuff. Well, I've got ten and ten lectures, so I should be fine. I could just choke dust him as well. Splatter some choke dust in the face. Stabby stabby, and that's you. It's like a smoke bomb for anybody who doesn't know. Hi! Hi! How you doing? Hi! Hi! Look at the fire out your eyes here. Right, buddy boy is going to turn around and go out the door. Hi! You're looking right at me. I'm going to walk out the way so he doesn't turn around and see me. Right? Now you're going to turn around and walk the other way. Come on, turn around. Do I have to go around there and jump over the gap just to get you killed? No. Turn around. You're being obstinate now, pal. I got a hat. I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to do. Fuzzy Strike and Cheese in the next DLC. Oh. I think my dog's a lot unhappy about something. You can go for a second. I swear that dug sometimes. This for all the wheels. Why did it become some here? Still making his rounds, can I get down in time? Dies. See this guy, honestly. Dog, if you go back on here, I'm gonna smack your arse. Now, does he 
come in here or does he just walk straight up? Right, I can use this to my advantage. Stabby stabby! No, oh, I'm base dust. I like to clench his hand just to look through his hands. Vision. Hello. Oh. Oh, that's the plans for. Yeah, it's these lower level powers that always regenerate. Yeah, I'm time. If you do it too fast, or you're gonna get the regeneration. I really wish you wouldn't do that. Those animations take longer. Gives me more time to be spotted. What I need to do is disarm that fucking thing. Right, that's it. The way I don't have to worry now. Now uh, we can walk the stairs and jump down onto the balcony ledge to the stair. I could have just went outside and jumped up with the blink power, but yeah. that risk is getting seen. I just love that lighting effect as you walk through there. Maybe it's all dark and then just something like. Oh, right. What was the number or something? Right, then there's a ledge. <laughs> I wonder if I can just drop kill him. Yes, I don't like me. Depends on the hat, he just automatically goes into standing mode. Alright, now let's see, where are my prey? I also got something up there to get. This is the outside a shrine where you say hello to him. Remember it? I know. No, they're just garnish. No, 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 no. Robust. What the heck is a robust? Light is a shadow. Hmm? Robust. I'm going to go with light is shadow. Now I can fall further. Whee! Can I? No.
Whee! Yeah, right. I didn't. I uh, wasn't actually sure I was going to make that, to be honest. I should have quick saved before doing it, but it worked out for the best. I see, look, it automatically takes you right out of your sneak. I've just killed somebody, so the first thing I want to do is be visible to everybody. Oops. Too early. Oh well. I am pretty much guaranteed a chaotic ending now. But there's pretty much guaranteed a chaotic ending just from the first level, so who cares? <laughs> I just want to see what it's like, you know, going through the game from a completely different perspective. Whereas I went through the first game, well, the first time I played the game, I went through it and just completely, not utterly peaceful, pacifist, never killed anybody. I tried to do that, and um, what game was uh, Watchdogs? I was trying to go through Watchdogs without killing a single person. But, no, the game just was not for letting you do anything without forcing you to kill people at points. So, I ended up saying, fuck it. Got the gun that I got from all the gang hideouts, it was a special ops goblin, and just killed everybody without remorse or mercy. I mean, it would be nice if you had the option to avoid. Right, yeah. To avoid conflict at points. But no, you were given no option. There were times where you just had to kill. And there was even one mission I played through, it was. We had to go rescue your nephew, and you were given no choice. You had to kill everybody there, even though I knocked some of them out. They were counted as dead. It would be nice if a mission like that, where your outcome was decided by your actions. What are you suspicious of? Seriously, come on, Neb. Uh, Buggery, will you? I need to get into the legal district. Sir, what is it? I just wanted to say congratulations on getting your own squad. Maybe worth five hearters, but I'm worth about ten million of you, apparently. Right, this street belongs to the rats now. Everybody here is dead, apart from the quest character, who I cannot kill without failing the quest, but other than that, everybody is dead. Oh. So apparently one of the people I killed has the key. I forgot about that to be honest. He might have been one of the ones in the roof. 
or one of the ones that the Hatters killed. Where is Alm Street anyway? Is it doing all the way up there? I can't even remember going all the way up there to get a key. Whatever, let's go get it. Apparently, somebody nicked the game to put all the way up here for the fuck knows what reason. See, I don't even remember doing this. <laughs> what was that? What the fuck was that? Is that Corvo? Yeah, I've never been here. I got me some more points, so making me go all the way up here just to get a key. See you, pal. Make me go up here to get a key. Hope that hurt. survived it though. Right. Shut up. I think it might have been in the peaceful path. The key was in that building now just went through with all the hatters in it. Scout up ahead. Try to find out where Timsh is. There's an equipment stash on the rooftops nearby. We've been anticipating doing a hit on Timsh for some time. I know. Stop it. Half the city wants him dead. We'll earn some gold on this one. I'll meet you up ahead. I wish I could do that as well. Just blinked where I want. Now, this bastard here, oh, well that's good. Actually, that's a good actual charm to get. Now, you see this guy down here? He gives you the peaceful path. Hi. It's Dowd, isn't it? That's you wouldn't be in this district unless you were after Timsh's head. What do you want? Revenge. To do to Timsh what he did to me. I want him homeless, a victim of one of his own eviction documents. I've prepared one, complete with the forged signature of the Lord Regent. Please, go to my old apartment. It's right next to Timsh's estate. Here's the address. But I doubt you can get inside from the streets. That's a guard model. find my journal, which contains the entire plot and everything you'll need. But you're a businessman like I once was. I don't expect you to do this for free. If you do go to my apartment, you'll find something stashed there. Consider it your payment in advance. Okay, we're not doing that because we're killing everybody. I just want to know.
do I feel for killing him? No. That'd be the ultimate dick move as well. You know, like just killing him but letting Tim slow. Right in his. Ugh. Ugh. Seriously, man. Ugh. Now let's go to his apartment and loot it for what it's worth. Then we'll go kill Kim. I'm a bastard, aren't I? Oh, I'll take all your money, but I'm not going to do what you want. I'm just going to stab you one in the face. One more and I can get the enhanced blink. Who cares about the your fucking blown crew? Lardy fucking lar, you poor little bastard. I forgot you the card, didn't I? The card that lets me do Granny's ritual. Woo! Did I just jump right through that window? It's a disaster, I almost forgot that point. Well, you know me. It's one of the advantages of Blink endowed version. You don't actually have to. Wait, you can just jump while it's still active and let go and you'll just stop. Oh. <laughs> I might push you off. He's in the lobby, explaining his little system. Bone charm there. I'm not caring about the half of non violence. Uh. Whee! Charm, Rune, Rune, and the fifth, the last one is from Granny. What could it be? Well, there's still people for me to kill.
Didn't see anything. Yeah, it's cold and the cover room. I'll find plenty of food inside to regain my health. Shadow. Seriously, where did that go? He just sliced right through a solid table. Uh, or not a table, a solid... Whatever the fuck it is, a cooker. She's going to move any second now. This whole place has gone to the house. Look at what, there's nothing to see here. Jog on. Yeah, that guard came down here. Oh my, there's a lot of these. Could this city get any cuss? Chances are very good. The region keeps the smartest and most capable in the city Fuck this shit, I'm going on over here. I'm gonna have to listen to these fucking bastards. Why they want him, why they want him, why they want him. Oh, wow, 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 that's all they're fucking saying. Oh, the fucky, fucky, fucky. We are just a bunch of cut tossers. Oh, 